now there are so many things that you can do in jira without purchasing any app and one such thing is sending an email when you or any user makes a transition a workflow transition with the help of a post function now this uh, was the question asked by no far no far no far i think and the question is how to set a workflow post function to send an email without purchasing more jira apps now i have already replied to the question now basically there are three steps involved first you have to create an event a custom event you can call it anything like send email send email and then when you create a new custom event go to your notification scheme for that project and define who will receive an email when that particular event is triggered so you have an event and you have defined who will receive an email but you also have to trigger that event and for doing that you can go to your post function and then you can change the generic event to send mail or that event basically so let me try to show you very quickly so if i go to first of all my events so our events is something that you can create in your jira a new custom event and of course it is uh, um global so basically when you create a new event it will appear here so let us uh, create a new event let, let, let us do it very quickly and i think uh, it will then make sense so send mail is the name of the event and when you when you define a new event you can also select an email template now usually i prefer issue updated because with the issue updated template the value that is changing will be will be sent in the email so that is always useful so i'll uh, but you can uh, take a look at what other templates are and you can experiment with them so when you have a new template it will appear definitely somewhere in the list uh, at the very bottom and it says right now no workflow is currently using it now the only thing which is left is to go to your project and then modify the 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 scheme the notification scheme so let us say if you have a i'm going to creative team scrum or maybe maybe bug tracking project which is my i believe software project um uh, it is a software project but i hope it is not next gen so when you go to the project you can then go to the project settings or you can if you know the notification notification scheme you can directly go to the notification scheme i'm just waiting for it to load completely it's a bit slow cloud can be a bit slow it is not always the fastest uh when it comes to the loading of different screens like in this case it, it took a while to load this issue but anyways Uh, so so we'll go to the project settings and uh, i don't know the notification scheme otherwise i would have directly opened the notification scheme so i'll open the um i'm i'm looking for notifications so i'll open it and you have to make sure that uh, that notification scheme is uh, not being used by other projects so right now this is uh, this project is using default notification scheme so i think it is probably not a good idea to to use and modify the no default notification scheme so what i'll do i'll go to the jira admin section and i'll i'll create a copy of this as a good practice i remember when i when i used to help other administrators in uh, learning jira i always used to repeat never modify the default configurations always copy them so i'll go to the not notification scheme and uh, we do have a copy of default notification scheme which should work but let me just copy the default not notification not notification scheme and uh, i'll name it something else so we have a copy now on top and there was no confirmation it just copied which is fine we can always modify it now so what should I, what should i name it so let us name it as uh, dev projects notification 
notification scheme and one more thing if you are uh, whenever you're working with jira schemes always make sure that your your scheme has some reference to what the scheme is all about so if it is a notification scheme mention notification scheme it will help you it you will remember later on what this is all about so we have a new not notification scheme and uh, what i'll do i'll also associate it to my project but i'll first uh, click on the notification and uh, if you scroll down you will find your send mail event your new your brand new event that you need to use now so what i want to do i want to so and, and by the way you have plenty of options here so let us say you want to notify a group of people so you can select your group here so maybe i want to notify my a group i don't like using the group maybe i'll use a project role because you don't really want to modify the role every time or oh, not a role but a group membership for users i prefer of course roles so that your project administrators can manage it without bothering you keep it simple for you we should try to achieve simplicity in our life and try to avoid work if not work i mean we should try to avoid things that others can do so your project ad administrators can always modify things like role version and component so you should always let them know do it yourself so we now have a notification scheme and what we'll do we'll go to the project and i'll go to the option options on top called collections and then i'll use a notification scheme and then i will select my new notification scheme so this is all good but we are missing one very crucial important thing so we now have a have a new event and we have a notification scheme that is doing something with that event uh let us wait for it to refresh i just changed it what happened let me refresh it again did i didn't i change it it was it should have been a dev notification scheme maybe not maybe i did something wrong my jira instance is uh, slow or i mean my internet is fine but my jira instance is slow so i need to select for some reason i cannot select what is wrong what is wrong here i cannot select uh, dev projects oh no now it is okay so now you can see here that in the not in, in the notification scheme of my project and also of course it can be any combination any number of projects using this notification scheme whenever we trigger this event send mail people in the project role developers can be triggered they will receive an email now you can tell your project administrators that please go to people section of your project and then add people to this developer role and uh, of course that developer role can do a lot of things it depends on your permission scheme it depends maybe on your workflow configurations but you can add people here if you want to send them an email when you do we when you do a transition now of course i'm using a free plan because uh, i don't really want to pay for uh, doing these things i'm using a free version of jira on cloud but this is a place where you can do that um where you can modify the on the free version you can't really modify the permissions but you can certainly modify ho hopefully the uh, notifications but you you get the idea so let me just let me just do one more thing i'll show you how to the, the most important thing which is uh, the post function the transition so if you open your workflow let us say you want to send an email on uh, on bug i mean some some transition when you are working with bug let us open the workflow in a in a text mode and i'm using a classic default workflow so let us let us say the requirement is that whenever you whenever you transition the issue from open to in progress let me try to hover my mouse on top of it and uh, it is always a pain sometimes not always but sometimes it is a pain if you are using this kind of a workflow where you have overlapping transitions on the on the diagram or you can go to the or you can go to the text mode so now we have the workflow and uh, and the transition that i want to focus on is open to 
start progress, open to in progress, which is start progress transition. If you go to post function, you will uh, find one uh, one specific post function called. Uh, uh, oh, th th there is already an event called fire a start on issue event, which can be processed by the listener. Usually, it is generic event, so you can always modify it, and uh, you can select your event, which is send mail and update, and that is it. That is how you will do it. If you already have an event like this, start work started on issue, uh, use it, and. Uh, for some reason, for, for some reason, my Jira instance is behaving. It's not really behaving properly, and I don't like it. I, I just changed it, and it didn't change. Let me try one more time. Maybe there is something wrong with Jira Cloud. Maybe Atlassian is doing an update today. I have no idea. Let me select it again. Send mail. See, even as even when I'm selecting it, it is taking a while, like few seconds. And now it is send mail. I'll now update the post function. Now we have the post function updated send mail and now I can of course uh, publish the workflow for some reason my publish workflow button is also not there on top anyways because I'm anyways using uh, the classic project classic workflow which I don't really want to modify so I'll, I'll probably not publish it but you get the idea and that is how you do it that is how you will uh, you will add your own custom event to send an email and you can do a lot of other things with that event you don't really need to i mean email is certainly one thing that can you can configure to send but there are there are plenty of other things that you can do because it, it is an event and you can listen for those events so i hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today thank you very much